We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Houston Astros and the Tampa Bay Rays. So striding forward now, Michael Brantley. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The one-two. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Ready now, Alex Bregman. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. This is on the ground over to first. Reined in. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Into the box now. Jose Altuve. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Here now the 2-2. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Now at the plate, Joey Wendell. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2 2. Fastball well outside. And he chased it in the dirt. Up with it, Maldonado. The throw to first is in time, one down. Standing in, Jose Martinez. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. That is good. Into the box, Austin Meadows. And he struck him out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Brandon Lowe. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Verlander pauses. 1 1 pitch on its way. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And the count will be full. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. the Astros designated hitter Jordan Alvarez it was a two hit effort for him including a home run in last night's game and he misses two and one liner toward right center that gets down and he's got himself a base hit. At the plate, Carlos Correa. The bouncer to the left side. There's one. On to first, and they get the double play. George Springer, the next to hit. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. Here's the one and one delivery. Back up the middle, and that's through for a hit. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Yeah. 
At the plate now, G-Man Choi. On the ground near home. And there's one away. Now batting, batting Willie Adamas. He's ready for his first at bat of this Willie. early season contest. Ready on one and two. High in the air out to center field. Springer has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. So stepping in, Yandy Diaz. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Here now the 2 2. Is looked at, and the count moves full. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. He'll try it again, three and two. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. One out now in the Houston third. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. 1-1. Look out. That one almost got away from him. 2-2 two and two now. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the former Angel Martin Maldonado. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Diego Castillo is going to come on to pitch here. And in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Michael Brantley will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. The 2 1 pitch. Ball Never three. tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. three. Ball. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still That's make a quality four. pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's now seat. The third and that'll bring up Alex Alex. Bregman. 0 for Bregman. 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1. One, one. And that one got a piece of him. Digging in to try it again. Jose Altuve. He got on top of one. It was a ground out victim last time. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The set. And the 1-2. Maldonado on third, Brentley on second, Bregman on at first with two down. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, would have been a grand slam. Instead, it's a foul ball. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Zanino gathers it, and they get the force at home. Whatever works as the side is retired. Here now is Mike Zanino. His line against Justin Verlander. He's had absolutely no success. 0 for 14. And on 10 occasions, he's been a strikeout victim. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's 1 and 2. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Mike Zanino is sent packing to begin the bottom of the third. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. 
you could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order room. Coming on is Brantley, but he won't get there. It's a base hit. Now back, the designated hitter. In now, Joey Wendell. Nick the corner, two and two. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And this one is gone. A home run. Stepping in now, Jose Martinez. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. To two and two now. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Reddick looks up. Gone! Back-to-back -back homers. To the plate now, Austin Meadows. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes now out number two. Number eight. Pulled toward right center field. And he will reach up to make the catch. Oh, what a play that time as that ball had extra bases written all over it. But with that catch, the inning is over. Striding forward now is the D.H., Jordan Alvarez. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. Into the box, Carlos Correa. So a runner on second with one down now. And that brings in George Springer. George Springer. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All even now, two and two. No runs, three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. Due next is Josh Reddick as he gets ready in the on-deck circle. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could the get them out of the inning. The right fielder, Josh Reddick. The 2-2. Two -two. First and second now, one man out. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's throwing a bunch of pitch. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Colin Poche is called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Standing in now, Yuli Gurriel. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Martin Maldonado. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. Hits are now even at four apiece. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Grounder down the line at third. 
But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Here's the two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Troy is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. G-Man Choi the next to hit. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. In now, Willie Adamas. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And that's taken up and in for ball two. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. Got him. Striding into the box, Yandy Diaz comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Verlander into his motion, ready with the 1 1 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Reddick. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Digging in once again, Michael Brantley. It was a walk in his last trip. Hit in the air out to center field. Kiermeyer giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Now at the plate, Alex Bregman. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. Count even at two and two. Here's the pitch. Slap hard the opposite way. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. And the plate, Jose Altuve. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. The batter, number 44, designated hitter, Yodan. So Alvarez. now to the plate, Jordan Alvarez. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Carlos Correa would be next. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The three, two, one more time. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So here's Mike Zanino. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Here now the two two. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Tampa Bay. 
Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full down, three and two. Joey Wendell is on deck. Count remains full. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Joey Wendell, first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Two and one to the Rays' leadoff batter. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Chaz Rowe takes over to start now the sixth inning on the mound. Number 52. Yeah. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Here's Carlos Correa now. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1-1. One, one. Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Astro shortstop in front with a three-and-one count. George Springer is on deck. Line shot to first, and there's one away. One away for the Astros here in the sixth. And former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. He loses him on ball four. So here's Josh Reddick. Now batting right fielder Josh Reddick. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. <laughs> Lifted down the line in left. Left fielder giving chase, and they can't run it down. Another try at 2-2. Chases one up the ladder as this is hit in the air to left field. Into the slide, and he comes up with a great catch for the second out. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Now a ground ball and a chance for Adamas is short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now. So coming to the plate, Jose Martinez. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Right fielder. So striding in, Austin Meadows. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. The one-two. In the dirt here. And a heads-up play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the bag. Here now the two-two. This is the kind of pitching that's frustrating for me to watch. He had him down 0-2, then he started getting cute, and now the count is full at 3-2. It happens, but I'd rather see him attack the hitter and force contact if you can't get him to chase after a pitch or two. So it was a swinging strike three. Austin Meadows takes the hat trick with his third strikeout of the night. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. 
So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And that brings up the corner infielder, G-Man Choi. Now the 2-1 pitch. Altuve for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Oliver Drake is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 47. Oliver. Digging in, Martin Maldonado. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Swing and a liner, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. The left fielder, number 23, Michael Brantley. In now, Michael Brantley. Now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. The tag gets one on to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game. as there are quickly two away now. Alex. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, and off the bat, he had to think he had extended his hitting streak. Luckily, he has another chance to keep it going right here. In there, a base hit. Throw into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. The bat, the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Into the box now, Jose Altuve. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Brian Abreu gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 66. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Willie Adamas. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hit back up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. Third baseman number two, Yandy Diaz. At the plate now, Yandy Diaz down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2 and 2. Struck him out. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Turned on down the line. But a foul ball, one and two now. Ball two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Here, and a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Now that the designated Big hitter. spot here. First and second, two men gone, and digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Now the one-and-one one pitch. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. That misses, and we're even at two and two.
Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Reddick has a read on it. And that's the third out. Jose Alvarado has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 46. Okay. Ready for another oh, shot oh, now. Oh. Jordan Alvarez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Two and one to count. Now the pitch. He takes it to the opposite field. High and deep to left. And that is off the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Now back. Into the box, Carlos Correa to the right side and through a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Now back. Standing in now, George Springer. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. No runs, nine hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And he fouls this one off. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit to third. To second for one. On to first, and it's a double play, though that first run of the ball game is across the score. The right fielder. Standing Josh. in, Josh Reddick. Reddick. He flew out in his last at bat. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Fouled off. The one two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Here now the two two. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. He's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Framber Valdez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Riding in once again, Jose Martinez. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. The 1-1. A bouncer up the middle. And that's the first out. Now at the plate, Austin Meadows. Three at-bats for him in this one. All ending with him going down on strikes. The 1-1 home. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. He froze him on the fastball there. Austin Meadows goes down for out number two in the bottom half. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. And a foul tip here, but it's held on to for the out. Good work behind the plate, and the inning is over. Nick Anderson comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 70. So here's Yuli Gurriel. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do trying to score runs 
or bunch hits together off of a closer. Here's the one and two delivery. Still a ball and two strikes. The one two is laid off for ball two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. And in a two-run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that time run in the on-deck circle as long as you can. The next 3-2. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Now batting. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And up next, the former Angel Martin Maldonado. And this one's in the dirt. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. A runner at first with no outs here. He stays alive, still two and two. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again, still two and two. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. He turns on this fastball and sends it out to deep left field. And I would say he got just about all of that one as this ball is gone. A home run. Well, his first home run of the season is a memorable one. As we take a look at it here, you can see that it was 50-50 if it was going to stay fair. But somehow, he wills it just enough until, clink, it hits off the foul pole for a homer. At the plate, Michael Brantley, the bouncer to the left side, scooped up. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Striding in for Houston, Alex Bregman. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Now, that now with the plate, defense. Jose Altuve. He's one for four for the game. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Line drive to left. Martinez is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Chris Davinsky comes on to work on the mound, hoping to send this one into extra innings. Number 47. Chris. Stepping in and ready for another shot, G-Man Choi. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Pops this one up. Barehanded at his knees. It's there, and he's out. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. The batter, number one. Stepping into the box, Willie Adamas. He singled his last time up. This is swung on and hit to Altuve at second. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang-bang play at first. Third baseman, number two. Digging in, Yandy Diaz. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. 
Yeah, Maddie, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Peter Fairbanks takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Number 29, Peter. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. The 2-1 home. Hit hard back up the middle. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first. And that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. In now, Carlos Correa. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the move is Kiermaier. He's there and records the first down. At the plate, George Springer. It's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. So now to the plate, Josh Reddick. Two and one. Fastball and Looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Now the payoff pitch home. Popped him up. Choi over to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Next up for the Strohs, Yuli Gurriel. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here's the one-and-one one delivery. Lays off the slider that time, two-and-one. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three-and-one. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. To the plate now, Martin Maldonado. And it's fouled away. The one two is taken for ball two. Hey, this is one of those tough outings as a reliever. Just have to keep throwing strikes and believe sooner or later this inning's going to turn around. Chopper to short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Roberto Ozuna takes the ball, looking to make sure this game goes no further. Save situation here in inning number 10. Roberto. Bottom of the inning now. So digging in now, Mike Zanino. No hits to this point. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. And this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. Now back, center fielder, Kevin. At the Kiermaier. plate now, Kevin Kiermeyer fouled away. Here's another one, two. Pulled toward right center field. Reddick has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. 
So a runner at first now with one away. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Swing and a miss, strike two. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Reddick is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And up next will be the right-handed hitting Jose Martinez. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Still even at two and two. Two out with the man at first. And he fouls this one off. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one. And this ball game is over. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. Chris Davinsky gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Roberto Ozuna hammers down the save, his fourth of the season. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, six runs on 13 hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base. For the Rays, three runs, six hits. No errors, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 14 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.